what I see on our side is when it comes to things like author pages or information about the author or information about entities in general behind a, a website, an article, or something, um, what, what happens there is our systems try to recognize who that is, what that entity is. And we do that based on a number of different factors. And uh, that does include things like links to profile pages, for example, or uh, visible information that, that we can find on these pages themselves. So my recommendation here would be to uh, at least link to a common or kind of like a, a central place where you say like everything comes together for this author, which could be something like a social network uh, profile page, for example, and uh, use that across the different uh, author pages that you have when you're writing. So that when our systems look at, at an article and they see an author page associated with that, they can recognize, oh, this is the same author as the person who wrote something else. And we can kind of group this by entity. And we do that based on maybe this common social networking profile that is there. Uh, in, I don't know, long ago, we used to have the rel author annotation. And all of the, the older SEOs will probably face palm now. Uh, but it's something essentially where we try to use structured data to explicitly apply this. Uh, but it is something that like the, the rel author annotations are no longer used at, at Google for quite a while now. Uh, but we do try to understand who the entity is behind an author page. And for many authors, it's, it's pretty clear. Like, there's one name, and it's obvious this one name is associated with this one person. Uh, for other people, it can be a little bit more complicated. Like, uh, like me, for example, John Mueller, if you search for me, you'll find Wikipedia pages, barbecue restaurants, bands, all kinds of people who are called John Mueller. And uh, if on my site I, I don't kind of specify who I actually am, uh, then it could happen that our systems look at my pages and go, oh, this is that guy that runs that barbecue restaurant. And uh, then suddenly I am associated with a barbecue restaurant, which I don't know, might, might be a move up. I don't know. Uh, but uh, kind of these, these subtle things, I think, uh, make it a lot easier for us to recognize who is actually behind something. Uh, we call that uh, reconciliation when it comes to structured data, kind of recognizing which of these entities belong together. <laughs>